The principal end uses that, that people are likely to, to encounter in the future are perhaps ones that are related to creating an electromagnet. High temperature superconductors can be used to replace the current materials in any kind of electromagnet. So electromagnets typically will use copper wires, which will get hot when you put a lot of current through them. So for example, an MRI machine contains an electromagnet, which is built from conventional low temperature superconductors. And so these are required to be immersed in liquid helium, which is a very expensive refrigerant. If replace magnets in MRI machines, with high temperature superconductors, then these can be cooled at the flick of a switch but with a refrigerator. So if you can imagine replacing the wire in many of these types of electromagnets. You still have to cool them, but not quite so much, and you achieve a huge benefit in the size of the magnet uh, that you end up with because of, because of the fact that you can put around 100 times more current through the same cross-section of a superconducting wire than you could through a copper wire. There is a chance that it could be used in power transmission. However, the, the immediate benefits are likely to come from more compact devices, such as generators, transformers, um, motors, and, and electromagnets.